A quick video to accompany the newsletter or sway on uh, Friday the 18th of June, sitting in a, a cold school full of freezing rain. Um, so just a couple of things to go through. Um, COVID implications, we, we are aware the frustration uh, that we all thought the restrictions were going to be ending uh, this uh, this week uh, and, and do extend. The main implications, I'm afraid, are that we aren't able to invite large groups onto site, which, for example, uh, productions, uh, parents, uh, consultation day, sports days. We are working so hard. I do see our key uh, role in, in school, A, to be um, supporting the children's education, also bluntly keeping people in work. So we are very, very... Uh, strict on all our bubble management and, and trying to make sure that we get through to the end of term without any more closures. Um, we are seeing more cases in schools nationally, so we're very keen on that. And then a couple of other things. Um, we are beginning to fill places in nursery. If you need a place in nursery next year or know of somebody that does, please let them know. Um, we are working uh, on a, an offer for wraparound care after school. Uh, it will be uh, an active or an, an um, uh, wraparound care session, um, which we'll have details out before the end of term. But that will be uh, until we think at the moment quarter to six. Um, if um, anybody would like to come and join our team, we have a vacancy for uh, a cleaner on a casual contract. Um, and then last few bits, please be aware that because of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, we have an additional bank holiday next year, which is being taken on Friday the 27th of May. So we finish the uh, term five on the Thursday, not the Friday. Um, be aware we've got um, parents uh, day on the 28th. So that's what was parents evening. So obviously we use a training day uh, to do that. Uh, you should have had the letter about that, but also remember there'll be no breakfast club and school will be closed that day. And then a couple of other bits. Um, be aware reports are coming out with details of attendance and new classes for next year. That'll be, I think, the 13th of July is the day we're heading for that. And a couple of bits we can just ask for your support on. One is just be aware, again, the one-way system and parking a couple of phone calls recently um, from uh, neighbours and also parents about, um, we've had a few people having to go into the road um, as people are stopping and talking, things like that. It's one of those things that does the parking, is that part of the school's role? But it also, it, it does, if, if children have to walk in the road, I, I, I do uh, remain petrified of a child being hurt in a car accident. And finally, as part of the COVID restrictions, we are trying to minimise people coming into the front entrance. Please, can we um, try and minimise the, the visits uh, coming there, particularly around sending children equipped for the school day. Last few weeks, we're seeing a, a significant rise in pack lunches, water bottles and things being dropped in. That means then staff are then dropping uh, things into classrooms. So if you can support us with that, that would be fab. Biggest thing for us is... Um, we are seeing some incredible work from your children. Uh, we see in the press all these things about gaps in learning and lost learning and things like that. Yes, there is learning that the children did not cover in those periods and we are filling that and we're working really hard. But we are also very, very excited for the, when we can send the books home at the end of the year to see the great work that your children have done uh, and are doing uh, up to the end of the term. So please stay safe, please look after yourselves. I hope you're well. I do try and see as many of you as possible on the gate uh, and um, I hope uh, you are all well. Thanks very much.